Hello fellow vendors, Extreme Vending here with an old school voiceover video. We are doing this to, just for today because my editor was not able to produce the video. So if you uh, could show some support, comment down below, say get well Delwig, Delwig is my editor, or get better soon, or just tell him he's an idiot for not putting the video out. Anyways, so while we were doing a collection at this mini claw machine, I did confirm with the owner that he did try to contact the abandoned machines owner, the owner of the abandoned machines for the past month. Now, these machines have been abandoned for over a year or actually several years from my understanding. The original owner just disappeared. We do not know what happened to him. Hopefully, he's okay. But uh, the owner of the restaurant just wanted to get rid of the machines. So they tried contacting him, like I said, for the past 30 days. The uh, vendor never came by or never got back with them. So we did a collection, which we did $82 and restocked my mini machine like you see in the footage. And then when we were done with it, we hauled the three machines out. And what you see is we have a gumball machine, capsule machine, a sticker machine, which I'm going to do probably what Galaxy Games does and put Pokemon cards in there because that seems like to be the, the new in bad thing. So we went and loaded them up and we took them to my shop. And when I say my shop, I mean my parents' barn because they have a big barn to work on all our stuff. <laughs> and uh, after hauling everything and we opening up the sticker machine, you can see the stickers and the uh, prizes are all out. But there was quite a bit of quarters that were in there. So I was real excited to see that. And here's another angle of the coins after we uh, move some of the cards out of the way so you can see it. And what we're doing is we're just going to throw the quarters. And actually throughout the rest of this uh, abandonment video, we're going to throw all the quarters in this tray. So I'm going to pull this tray out. And we're going to place all our quarters in this one tray because I think it's a pretty good tray to store the quarters. And there we have it for the uh, sticker machine. That's the quarters that we collected. So after that sticker machine, we went to the capsule machine. We opened that one up. We drilled out the lock, of course. And it did pretty well, I think. You know, you think about this. It's been in storage for a while. I didn't know how much to expect from it. And there's still a lot of product in the capsule machine to use. But that was quite a good collection. And then also we opened up the lock in the back. Actually, that uh, gumball machine was the fiberglass uh, walls were all destroyed. As you can see, it's cracked right there. So I don't think we're going to be able to use this gumball in location. But that's fine because I think what we'll do with this is we'll give it to my nieces uh, as a Christmas gift. So hopefully they don't watch this video. And out of all the machines, the gumball machine I think had the most quarters. But also the gumball machine was pretty low on product, which that gumball is really old and gross anyways. Before we get to the final results, guys, if you haven't already done so, please click that subscribe button and support the channel we are trying to get it to a thousand subscribers so we can do live stream collections that i think that would be pretty exciting but without any further ado let's go ahead and, and see the results so thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and watching here's the final results we did 205 dollars in quarters which was freaking fantastic and we came out with three free vending machines after this collection see you guys next time and have a good day